Hi Church, it's Pastors Jen and Jacob with another digital devotion. So August 18th was the 100th year anniversary of women's suffrage in America when our nation recognized women's right to vote. And we were reflecting on how important that day was, how important um, that story is for our nation and for all of us. Um, many of you might know this story, but I think it's great and I think it's worth retelling that um, it came down to Tennessee being the state that was, that was needed to um, ratify this um, movement. And so um, a 24-year-old named Harry Byrne was the last person to vote on this. Um, in the legislature, and everybody thought he was going to vote against it, but he voted for it, and he later revealed that he had a letter from his mother in his pocket and that she had written to him um, the day before that basically told him to be a good boy and vote for it um, because it was really important. And so I think that just goes to show a couple of things. One, listen to your mother. Listen to your mother. Two, um, you know, our influence does matter. The conversations we have with our loved ones, our family members, people that may not agree with us on things, just voicing our opinion really does matter and it can sway their opinions, which could be really important. Um, it also goes to show that when people are given a voice, um, great things can happen. Obviously, um, the, 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 mo the moment that women were um, recognized as deserving of a vote was not the moment that all women were uh, recognized as being able to vote and so that that's a painful part of this story too but i think this was an important beginning for so many people to be given a voice that gave voice to so many others along the way i really love what you said too you use the word recognize it's not that they were granted they yeah. always by virtue of being a person should have been able to express their voice and vote and be involved in right. governing the land but that wasn't recognized, but no one gave it to them. They right. should have had it all along. I think that's very true with a lot of what we do in our faith where we say that, oh, we voted to become open and affirming. But again, you don't vote to love someone. They should have always been loved. God has always loved them. God has always wanted to hear the voice and input and opinions of women. And so I really like that we kind of shift our language and when we're trying to talk about what rights people have, we need to stop saying that we're granting them rights. They should have them all along. Yeah. And we're just coming along a little late in terms of recognizing it. Yeah. Um, but what a, a wonderful thing to celebrate that yeah. we got it right in some small way. Right. And that so much wonderful outcomes have resulted from inviting over half of our population to be part of governing our land. Yeah, so I think about that story of Harry Burns and his mother and that influence and how it was a chain reaction that meant so much to so many people. And I think it's just important to remember that um, the word evangelism, the concept of evangelism, isn't something that people in our denomination, progressive Christians, are usually comfortable with. But it really just is, it means just to share the good news. And I think, um, you know, Harry Burns' mother shared the good news with him and he shared the good news with Tennessee and Tennessee then helped share the good news across the country. And so I think it, it's just important to remember that it does matter. These conversations we have um, when we talk about the, the things that we believe in, um, even if those are difficult conversations to have, they're important. Let's pray, friends. God, we thank you that your spirit is within us and your spirit is moving and your spirit allows us to give voice through our words and our actions to the good news of Christ to this voice of God which is whispering to everyone, you are my beloved. And so I pray that we can believe that and we can share that. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next time.